I made a big mistake. Kind of been away from technology for quite a while, so I'm sorry I haven't posted anywhere anything like no YouTube, no Instagram. Kind of left my phone alone. Um, really didn't have it for a week there. I'm headed into the gym. I'm gonna train with Joey. Um, we're probably gonna do some b-boying. Then I want to do some um, body weight stuff, some calisthenics, just to help get back into shape because I've kind of been all over the place during this break. Gosh, what did we do? Went to the gymnastics center like twice, mess around. Went to a trampoline park once went aggressive inline skating. Got my knee pads, got my elbow pads. Don't forget, your trusty helmet. There's no way I don't have soft tissues in here. I love it, dude. Yeah. It's like five dollars. Coach picked me here. Ooh. When it comes to weathering and your trampoline, will the snow ruin your trampoline? Um, now, I, I did some research into this because I was kind of concerned and you know I was kind of lazy because so, I didn't want to take this down. So, most trampolines are made with durable material, rust proof, weather proof material. So in general, snow is not going to ruin most garden trampolines. Neither is like weathering or just leaving them outside, obviously, because they're made for the backyard. However, something you don't want to do is leave snow on your trampoline because this can actually stretch the springs out. This snow on there right now weighs a lot more than it looks. It weighs, it's heavy, it's wet. I don't know the cumulative amount of weight, but it's probably a couple hundred pounds. All that snow and water just sitting on the trampoline. And if you guys can see underneath, I'll show you you'll notice it's kind of sagging. And now I've been on vacation for like a week or so, so that's been stretching the springs out and that's not good. Now I also looked into like weatherizing your trampoline and like other techniques and there, there's been some word of mouth that said you should, take a, you should take this pad off of the trampoline in the winter so the snow can fall through the springs here. But when I looked underneath my pad, I actually noticed that my springs and the parts that they connect to look basically brand new. And I'm like, wow, I don't care if this pad gets decolored and you know, maybe gets a little rip in it, as long as it's gonna prevent me from falling through the springs and do its, you know, basically what it's function to do. I don't care if it gets a little faded or anything like that. Ground is frozen under here. Look at this, that's an icicle. All right, coach here, this is an absolute disgrace. That's not good. Okay, if there's a lot of snow on your trampoline and it's wet and heavy, best way to clean it off, especially if you're over 100 pounds, isn't to like step on the thing and move it off because, you know, who knows how much weight's already on there. What I'd recommend doing is taking a broom, going to the center, and pulling it towards you. So, oh, it looks like it's still good. Probably the number one fear for most people, including myself, is you know, to end up on one of those fail army videos being that guy who breaks through the trampoline tr when he's about to do a flip, he or she's about to do a flip, the trampoline just rips, you know? Is that caused by the snow? Is that caused by weathering? Is that gonna happen to my trampoline if it's winter? Now, there's no telling when exactly that will happen, but a good indicator based on my opinion and experience, look at the trampoline mesh itself. Now, does it still look shiny? Does it still look, you know, kinda new? I know that sounds stupid, but really, just pay close attention. Most of those videos that you see where people break through the trampoline, you can see the, the mesh is not looking shiny anymore. It's looking very flat. It's looking like a worn out dollar bill in someone's pocket. 
Another thing to do is like just if you have this on lifted up, do a quick inspection of all the springs and their attachments. Um, they all look brand new. Walk around the whole thing, 360. It's all holding up pretty dang good. Uh, with that being said, yeah, most important thing is just clean that snow off right when it snows on there. But other than that, it should be able to withstand the weathering of the winter. And for the most part, another common question is you can bounce on the trampoline even when it's cold. However, if it gets to like minus five like it did, I don't know about jumping on it then. I didn't jump on it when it was minus five, but it has been like 10 degrees and I jumped on it and it didn't break. Oh my goodness. Ow. Feels good. Great, now my feet are cold. I can ski too.